Smoking is bad for you. You shouldn't smoke. <sighs> what? Can you believe that? He's smoking and telling me not to smoke? So what do you say to something like that? In English, we have stuff called popular cliche cliches. Um, sometimes uh, things happen and we have expressions for these things or sometimes you're trying to express yourself in a specific way and we have an expression that has been overused, that it's been used for a very long time. Um, so we call it a cliche. So a cliche is a sentence or a phrase that usually expresses a popular or common thought or idea that has been overused. For my example about the smoking, don't smoke. I bet that's happened to you before. So we're going to talk about a popular cliche that you can use when somebody is doing that to you. Um, we'll go through some of the ones that I love and some of the ones that I hear the most and, uh, and I hope you use them sometime. All right, the first one, to pull an all-nighter. Have you ever heard that? Oh my God, I pulled an all-nighter yesterday. I'm so tired. Pulling an all-nighter means studying or working all night. So an example of that would be, I pulled an all-nighter to finish my project. That means that this person did not sleep yesterday. So they might be a little bit grumpy. Be nice. <laughs> um, the second one that I've heard a lot, pearls of wisdom. So pearls of wisdom are wise words or advice. For example, every time I feel stuck, I ask for my grandma's pearls of wisdom. Um, this is a common expression. Feeling stuck means maybe stressed out or don't know what to do. Another one that I always hear and I love using, curiosity killed the cat. This means don't be too inquisitive. It can be dangerous. And by inquisitive, I mean don't ask too many questions. Don't investigate into things that you don't need to know. Um, so an example of using that is, remember, curiosity killed the cat. Just forget about it. Just stop looking into it. Sheesh. All right. <laughs> the next one. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. This is used when someone points out that you are being hypocritical. So in my example about the smoking, don't smoke. You could have said to that person, mm, don't do what I do, do as I say. Um, so it's used when someone uh, is being hypocritical. An example of that would be, stop talking back. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Like if someone is telling you, hey, don't, ba don't talk back to me, but they're talking back to you. You can say, uh, you know, don't do as I do, do as I say. You're being a hypocrite there, buddy. So this is one of my favorite ones, of course, because I love using those ones. <laughs> Next one, let sleeping dogs lie. Um, this means don't look into or investigate something that was troublesome in the past um, and something that perhaps people are not interested in anymore. Uh, so for example, um, I'd let sleeping dogs lie and not reopen the investigation. So it caused a lot of trouble before. People aren't interested in it. Just let it go. Um, number six, a cat has nine lives. Um, so a cat has nine lives means someone might be having uh, problems now, but there are many chances to do well or succeed. An example of that would be, his career reminds me that a cat has nine lives. This means that this person um, has probably struggled throughout his career and each time he's fallen, he's always stood back up. So I like using this one too to support my friends. All right, and finally, the moment of truth. They use that a lot in movies. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, um, but a lot of movies where there's like court or something like that. Um, the moment of truth is like the moment in which something important will be shown or decided. Um, so for example of that, for example of that, an example of that, um, <laughs> it's the moment of truth. Either we'll get the contract or we won't. Um, so like I said, it can be something related to being true or something related to being shown. Um, so this is 
toward more towards being shown so we'll find out sort of we'll 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 know if we're gonna get the contract or not the moment of truth but you hear it a lot in court like it's the moment of truth what is the verdict or whatever um so those are some of my favorite cliches that i use all the time um again this is sarah with talktocanada.com and i hope you keep watching my videos and use some of my cliches